Hello YouTube friends! Today we are going to unbox what I purchased in the FabFitFun edit sale. So I did find it interesting. They are using up, must be using up some of their extra summer boxes. I love their boxes. They're always so pretty and they totally put my edit sale order in this one. So we're going to unbox it and see what I got. Um, I did have quite a few good finds in the edit sale this time, but before we do that, if you are new here, I just want to say hi, my name is Meredith, and welcome to my channel, A Mare of All Trades, where we do all kinds of unboxings and hauls, both grocery hauls, Target hauls, I do fashion unboxings and try-ons and beauty unboxings and unboxings and hauls of pretty much anything I just happen to want to get. <laughs> So if that sounds good to you, definitely make sure to stick around and subscribe. And here on my channel, we also do lipstick of the day. And today's lipstick of the day is from NARS. It is a crayon pencil sort of style lipstick, which I absolutely love. And this is in the shade Dance Fever. And then I also layered a little bit of gloss over it. This is the Jewel Smith Beauty gloss in Namaste All Day. And this one came in my recent um, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, so I just got that. I would think that video is already going to be up when you see this one, so definitely go and check that out. I will link it at the end of this video for you guys, and yeah. So the other thing we need to talk about too, as I'm showing you the inside of this box, is that I just hit um, 1,500 subscribers, so I just want to say thank you guys so much. That is so awesome. I'm going to be doing a 1,500 subscriber giveaway, and we're actually putting it in this video, so stay tuned because I'm going to tell you how to enter that. Um, but before we do that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. All right, so here is what the inside of my box looks like. I did get a little carried away with the add-ons, but then I was a little bit more sensible and I took some things back out of my cart. Do you guys ever do that? Do you love, do you do edit sale purchases? Um, let me know in the comments below. And if so, what did you get? Did you guys find any great stuff that you were super excited about? I uh, would love to hear. All right, so first up, they did give us a little packing slip, which they don't put the prices on, which is kind of a bummer because sometimes it's like, oh yeah, how much did I pay for that again? I can't remember. Um, but the first thing that we got is from R & Co. This is their Trophy Shine and Texture Spray, and this is a six ounce um, can. I was very interested to try this out. I had gotten the shampoo and conditioner in my Winter Fab Fit Fun box, and I absolutely love it. I'm actually getting close to running out, so I'm kind of sad about that. And I was actually kind of bummed that there was no shampoo and conditioner in the sale, because I was totally going to pick some up if they had it. Um, but it says that this is paraben and sulfate-free, petroleum-free, mineral oil, cruelty-free, gluten-free, vegan, and it has UV protection. So I say we spray a little bit of this in my hair. I was curious because it was saying it was a shine and texture spray. So it has a nice smell to it, not too overpowering. Hmm. I <laughs> got a big whiff of it. We go. I don't know. Does my hair look shinier? <laughs> definitely gives it some texture. I will say that. Just like just that little bit definitely fluffed it up a bit. And I don't know about you, but my curly hair can always use more shine. So yeah, that's kind of fun. I'm gonna be having a good time playing with this. And R Co is definitely a pricier brand. I think this was nine dollars in the add-on sale, and it's normally like thirty bucks or something like that. So I was really happy to pick this up and. So far, so good. The next thing that I got is from Human and Kind. This is their grapefruit body wash, and it's formulated with coconut oil. It says it's suitable for sensitive skin. It maintains skin balance without dryness. Now, this is a pretty big bottle. This one is 8.45 fluid ounces, so I'm happy to try this out. Um, and it was, I think, $5. So let's give this a smell. Is it open? Oh yeah. Honestly, I'm still kind of smelling the, the texture spray. <laughs> yep, I'm a professional. That was so glam. So glamorous. Well, it smells nice as I <laughs> shoot it up my nose. Uh, yep, I'm fancy and professional around here. Hold on. Well, you just never know what's going to happen in one of my unboxing videos. So now that I have gotten all the body wash out of the inside of my nose, 
gross. Um, it smells nice. It has a light grapefruit smell. I would say it's more in the grapefruit essential oil, natural smelling type of grapefruit scent versus like a more sugary artificial grapefruit scent. So I am happy to have this. I just, you know, it's body wash. You're gonna use it, get clean, that sort of thing. So not particularly exciting, but for $5 and the size of the bottle, I thought it was a pretty good um, one to snatch up in the sale. Um, so if you are interested in being entered in the giveaway, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. Um, this is available to anyone in the United States. Um, so it's only open in, in the United States. It's not open internationally this time. I did last time, but this time I'm going to keep it just here in the States. So I'm sorry to any of you who are outside of the United States. I'll do another one to include you guys maybe when I get a little bit bigger, um, but for now, we're gonna keep it to just that. So all you have to do is leave me a comment down below letting me know that you are interested in being entered into the giveaway, and then make sure that your notifications are turned on so that when I comment to let you know um, that you have won, that you'll be able to see it, um, because I've had problems with that in the past where people didn't respond. Um, or you can leave me your Instagram handle so that I can contact you on Instagram. So that's all you need to do. <laughs> All right, so next up, I got some of the Corez brand Fig Body Butter. I was interested to try this out. I've used a number of different Corez products, and I would say across the board, they have been pretty darn good. Some of them have been amazing, and some of them just been nice. Um, and so I thought I'd give this a try. I've been going through lotions and hand creams pretty quickly because it's just dry winter in Minnesota. Um, so this one is 7.95 fluid ounces. So it's a pretty big, I mean these are both pretty big. Um, so I'm interested to try it out. So we're gonna pop the safety seal because I'm sure I'll be getting to it soon. Okay. It's very light scent here. Use a little bit of it. It does look like it's pretty thick. Yep, it smells fruity, but not overly sweet. It's nice. And it absorbed in really quickly and it does not feel greasy at all. So I'm hoping that this will be great. I think I'll be sticking that next to my bedside table. So I'm happy for that. The next thing is a repurchase. I absolutely love this stuff. This is the Kate Somerville um, Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser and it's for sensitive skin. This one is four fluid ounces, so definitely a little bit on the small side and I think it normally retails for like $38 which I think I would have a hard time paying $38 for a four ounce cleanser I feel like that's kind of on the ridiculous side but I do think this is a great cleanser and I've gotten it before in the edit sale I think and this time around it was $14 and I feel like the last time I had purchased it it was like 19 so they marked it down a little bit more so that's awesome so I'm really happy to be able to pick this up I will definitely be using it I am almost out I have another tube in my bathroom and there's definitely less than an ounce left in there so happy to have a backup to that because I don't know about you guys, but cleansers get used up. I I have no problem. I mean, I wash my face morning and night, and so it's just nice to have it. So this was another thing. Hold on, they put it in plastic here. Let's rip this guy open. Another thing from R Co. And this is their Freeway um, Defining Spray Gel. Now, what interested me interested me about this one is it was saying that you could use it for curly hair, and when you scrunch it down after it's dried. Um, sort of to release it, it does not like flake. And supposedly you're supposed to get bouncy, lovely, fabulous curls. So I am very excited to try this out. I've been using a curl mousse that I just don't love and it's getting close to gone, thank goodness. And so I am really excited to try this and see if it makes my curls fabulous and bouncy and all of the wonderful things. And again, it's like paraben, sulfate-free, petroleum mineral oil, cruelty, gluten-free, vegan, and it has UV protection, so happy for that one. And that one was only $5, so I thought that was really great. I did pick up a set of five sheet masks, and these are from the Rail, Real brand. Uh, it says Real Period Beauty Hydration Masks. They are bamboo sheet masks, and you get five in the pack, 
and these ones are dewy and hydrating and it says it's free of parabens alcohol mineral oil silicone artificial fragrance benzophene artificial dye polyflexanol i'm not even pronouncing that right talc and peg and the biggest reason is because that I picked these up is they had the ingredients listed online, which is so helpful. And the second ingredient is glycerin and the third, let's see, fourth one was sodium hyaluronate, which is great for the skin. And then the fifth was like niacinamide. So I felt like it was a really good, um, had some great ingredients in there. And I think I'm really going to like these. I am going to pull out at least one of these to put in my, um, 1500 subscriber giveaway so that's one of the things that's that is going to be in there um so a state you know enter to win um but i'm really excited to try these out and see if they are as great as i think they're going to be based on the ingredient list this is from daily concepts this is the daily body scrubber and it is organic vegan and biodegradable which is the biggest reason that i chose this so i ha currently have a plastic loofah in my shower which I did not purchase it was given to me um, my mother-in-law very kindly gifted me two of them um, and I was very happy to have them and use them up but I really don't want to be using loofahs that are made from plastic that don't biodegrade for 200 years so um, this one because it was biodegradable I wanted to give it a shot I just I want a more sustainable better for the environment option than um, a plastic loofah but unfortunately I really do not like using a washcloth I don't know what it is if it's the texture or what um, but I just I don't love using one so I wanted to give this a try it was only five dollars and so I thought well you know we'll, we'll give it a shot and see how it is so I'm interested I will let you know um, in the future if I liked it and if I do I will um, I will be repurchasing it so hang on I'm actually gonna open it so you can see the actual scrubber all right, so this is what it looks like. It is a sponge that is then wrapped in like this weird sort of meshy fabric. So it's really squishy um, and it does have a little handle on there so you can hang it on your shower hook to dry. And they also do give you a little suction cup so you can hang it in the shower like that as well. Um, I always find that the su suction cups, when I stick them to my shower wall, they never stay up. Do you guys have that problem? <laughs> um, so anyways, so I'm happy for this interested to try it out and really happy that it's biodegradable that is my favorite thing about this so far and then the very last item um, is from saturday skin it is their rise and shine gentle cleanser um, so this i think was like a seven dollar add-on and one thing that i do as i'm putting add-ons in my cart is i'll put the things in my basket or my shopping cart online and then I will go and look at the reviews of those products on like Sephora's website or Ulta's website or whatever to see if it's really worth getting. And this cleanser had some great reviews on Sephora. So this is what it looks like out of the packaging. Um, it's supposed to be really good for sensitive skin and it, like I said, it had some great uh, reviews. Now this one is for... 0.05 fluid ounces so pretty much the same as the Kate Somerville this one was seven dollars and the Kate Somerville was 14 I want to say this retails for like right around the $30 mark um, on Sephora but yeah so it says make a clean break apple and peach extracts whisk away impurities without stripping the skin for a fresh and revitalized complexion so I'm very interested to try this out and the other thing that got me interested in this as well is that glycerin is the second um, ingredient in this so it should be nice and moisturizing um, it says it com contains no parabens sulfates synthetic fragrances or colors and it just says to squeeze cleanser onto the palm of your hand emulsify then using a circular motion apply all over and then rinse off so I'm happy to try this out Let's see if it, it is safety sealed and I do already have an open cleanser by my sink and in my shower. So I'm going to wait to open this, but I'll give you guys a review in the future. So that is everything that I got in the edit sale. Um, again, leave me a comment down below letting me know if you're interested in being entered into the giveaway. Um, you need to actually say that you are interested in it to qualify. Um, otherwise, if you just want to leave me a comment, that's okay too. You can just say what you got in your box or did you get anything or 
you know, are you interested in specifically knowing about one of these products as I try them? Leave me a comment down below. Um, and until next time, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And you know, oh wait, that's another thing. You have to be subscribed. I don't know if I said that for the giveaway. <laughs> I'm all over the place today. <laughs> but anyways, I didn't get much sleep. So um, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I will talk to you soon. I'll pop up some videos for you. Bye, guys.